Well, we're here after 20,000 votes. Unbelievable. We have made it to the championship round. Welcome into the Magic Final Four semifinal recap show. I'm your host, Brian Perry. When we started this tournament about a month ago, 64 of the greatest Disney parades and shows filled out a bracket that you ultimately voted on. And now, after the Elite Eight semifinals have concluded, we're ready to announce who the four championship participants are. We'll also announce the winner of that $150 Disney gift card that we're giving away at the end of the show. But first things first, let's recap these semifinals. And man, were they good. All right, so let's start things off with semifinal number one, which was the all Fantasmic matchup. You had Disneyland's Fant against Disney World's Fant, coast versus coast. Ironically, both shows aren't even taking place right now. Disneyland's is set to return this weekend. Disney World's will return later this year. Uh, Disney announced there will be a new scene replacing the Pocahontas scene featuring Elsa and Moana and Aladdin, and we'll see how that goes. But Ultimately, the main thing you have to remember is these two shows take place in two completely different environments. You got Disneyland on the water outside New Orleans Square and Frontierland in Disneyland. You got Disney World at Hollywood Studios in a 5,000 seat amphitheater. So two completely different environments. And what did you decide was the better show? Well, in somewhat of a blowout, almost 65 to 35, it is Disney World's moving on to the championship round. Uh, Disneyland's is the older one, but Disney World's again gets 5,000 people a night when there's one show. Back when there were two shows, you'd have 10,000 people every night seeing this show. So I guess it's not that big of a surprise that Disney World's is moving on to the championship round. On to semifinal number two, and it was the Halloween special Boo to You taking on the Cinderella story, March of the First Order. Now look, I love both of these shows. They're two of my favorites of all time. They're so good. The performers in both, incredible. Especially the March of the First Order when they're on beat. Ooh, forget about it. But uh, definitely March of the First Order was the Cinderella story. Who do you kind of expected to be here? And ultimately, in a game that was a lot closer than I expected, you voted that March of the First Order story is over. It is done. It is going home. It's Boo to you moving on with, check this out, a 52 to 48 win. So again, very close, but Boo to you will now join Fantasmic at Hollywood Studios as the second finalist in our championship round. On to semifinal number three, where it was the old bulbs of the Main Street Electrical Parade taking on the new LED lights of Paint the Night. Now look, I'm one of these electrical parade haters. I mean, I understand that there's a lot of nostalgia with it. I grew up with it in the 90s. Uh, it goes back 20 years before that. A lot of people love it. A lot of memories are tied to it. Paint the Night is a better parade, all right? It's got better floats. It's got cooler lights. Uh, I love it. It's my second favorite parade of all time. And ultimately, none of that matters because you voted that the Main Street Electrical Parade would now <laughs> join the championship participants in the final four. So to recap, we've got Fantasmic from Hollywood Studios. We've got Boo to You. And now we have the Main Street Electrical Parade taking up three out of the four championship participant spots, which means there's one spot remaining. And that will be decided in the game between Festival of the Lion King, the huge show that debuted with Animal Kingdom in 1998, against Celebrate the Magic. Now look, Celebrate the Magic was the greatest projection show Disney has ever done. This thing was so good. And then when Wishes went away, Disney said, ah, we'll take Celebrate the Magic away too. And we're gonna throw in Once Upon a Time, this cool projection show from overseas. And oh my God, that was probably the biggest downgrade in the history of Disney World Entertainment. Once Upon a Time, terrible compared to Celebrate the Magic. It still grinds my gears. Either way, Celebrate the Magic is great, but I gave it no shot against Festival of the Lion King because that thing is awesome. Probably one of the greatest shows in theme park history. And you agreed, though it was closer than I expected, Celebrate the Magic goes home because Festival of the Lion King takes the final spot in our final four championship round. So there you have it, the final four participants, Festival of the Lion King taking off the Main Street Electrical Parade, taking on Who Do You, and taking on Hollywood Studios Fantasmic. And a big congratulations to Gabrielle Thomas, the winner of our $150 Disney gift card. Be on the lookout for more giveaways when Inside 300 returns next week, as we'll be giving away a bunch of cool stuff, a bunch of Disney merch, and maybe even some more gift cards in the future. That's going to do it for the semifinal recap show. I've been your host, Brian Perry. Be sure to lock in your votes because voting is live 
right now. Go ahead to InsideTheMagic.com to select what you think is the greatest raid slash show in Disney history. I'll see you next week for the championship recap with John Knitter. Until then, bye bye.